Can I carry a gun in my semi-truck? Are you ready to uncover the truth about truck driver gun laws? In this video, we're diving deep into the world of firearms on the road. Discover the ins and outs of company policies, legal responsibilities, and how it affects your livelihood. I'm John Hayes at Anderson Trucking Service. Whether you're a company driver, an independent contractor, or an owner operator, this info you can't afford to miss. Most big trucking companies have a no firearms policy primarily because they want to keep drivers safe from gun-related incidences. In some cases, courts might even hold the company accountable if a driver with a firearm is involved. Beyond safety, think about the company's customers too. Some don't allow weapons on their premises, including firearms. If the driver is found with a gun on company property, it could cost the company the customer's business and lead to immediate termination of the driver. Remember to know your company's policy. However, if you're an owner operator under your own authority, these rules do change. You can have a firearm as the truck is your property. This means you assume the risk and responsibility, even if your gun is stolen and used in a crime. Now that you've heard about how trucking companies handle firearms, let's talk about gun regulations based on where you're driving. It's not the federal law that you need to focus on, it's the state, city, and even international laws that you need to keep in mind. Whether you're crossing borders or stuck to one region, knowing the laws is crucial. If you're crossing states, stay up to date with each state's gun laws and regulations, as city rules may differ from the states. For instance, some places might have specific storage requirements or bans on certain types of firearms. Chicago is a prime example. Remember, if you're local and stay within your single state, Things are simpler, but interstate drivers, it's worth the time to do your research on. Also, resources like the State Firearms Database and the ATF can be handy. Keep in mind though, these regulations provide information, not legal advice. Laws might change, so you always have to be aware and follow the rules to keep your journey smooth and safe. Now let's talk about the possible outcomes of having a firearm in your truck when you're not allowed to. The results can range from minor to major consequences. Even if it's unintentional, breaking the law could lead to fines, penalties, and facing jail time. Many companies have strict no gun policies, and if you're caught with one, you could be out of a job on the spot. Now you might be wondering how drivers end up getting caught with a firearm. If your gun is visible or easily accessible, Anyone at your trucking company or way station could spot it and report it. Even if it's hidden, you might run into issues if a Department of Transportation officer or police officer suspects something. They can investigate your truck during a traffic stop. They might ask about weapons and potentially do a search. This could be done during a DOT inspection also. It all boils down to the laws and states and cities you're driving through, as well as the rules of the customer you're delivering to. If the company doesn't allow guns, your customers don't want them on their property, or areas you're driving through have strict firearm policies, it's best to leave your gun at home. Navigating this can be tricky, and legal experts note that gun regulations for truckers can be very unclear. If you're considering carrying a firearm, it's crucial to be disciplined and well-informed about the rules. And remember, even if you're an experienced gun owner, understanding the law is vital. Carriers often have their own definitions on what counts as a weapon. Ask lots of questions and grasp what's allowed and what isn't. If you're exploring new trucking opportunities, check with our list of questions you should ask your recruiter in the description below. All right guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more weekly truck driving videos. We'll see you on the next one.